Hey guys, Stealth here and welcome back to the Ultimate Admiral's Retinals Tournament. Today looking at two ships which are part of the current losers round number two. Italy and France. France, very fire, very serious firepower in the form of those 14.9ers. Italians, lots more firepower, but really inexperienced crews. Whoever survives this match moves on to the next round. Whoever loses this match is out of the tournament. Let's see who comes out and moves on. Here we go. There's a lot riding on this, as I mentioned in the intro. Whoever loses this fight is out of the tournament. In this situation, the Italian ships almost have double the firepower relative to the French. Or actually, even more so. The French only got those six barrels. Long range, hard hitting, but just six. The Italians have 15 barrels per ship. This could give them a volume of fire approach, a volume of fire advantage. The real question is, can they make work with it? Because they got those cadet levels, and I don't really think it's going to boost their chances of winning this fight. I would really love to have seen a ship with, let's say, um, a subpar armament and maybe making some sacrifices on maneuverability, but with a 100% crew. And perhaps there were ships that got sent in that had that. I didn't actually check all the ships and see what their stats were. I just had a look at the ships and see exactly what sort of ships they are, and are they sticking to the budget. But uh, in this situation, the French, I think at range have the advantage. At short range... I doubt the Italians are really going to have any use for these 13-inch guns. Because their pen is good. But the French armor is just flat out better. Uh, they got so much armor. Now this does work both ways. The French are going to have, at least at range, a lot of difficulty doing any kind of damage to the Italians. By the looks of it, even the deck of the Italian ships is too heavily armored to actually be penetrated. So the only real thing that the uh, French can damage, supposedly, is the superstructure. Which kind of has me well, it had me a little bit surprised, because the ship has a 5-inch main deck, 3.inch 4, 3.5 aft. Like, it's not completely invincible. And considering the French do seem to have... Well, actually, no. They got those really long barrels, which means that they also got a really high muzzle velocity. Meaning that the shells are not going to be, let's say, slowing down as much. They're not... Jesus, look at that. It was 45 shells. Everything missed. Um, they're not going to be uh, very slow in the end. So they're not going to come in at a, a sort of deck pen angle. They're going to fly... Yeah, they're going to fly faster and more horizontal leading to a side impact against one of the Italian ships. And you can see that that did take a bit of damage, especially one of the main turrets got damaged. But, well, that was, what, 200 damage? And it cost them 1% structural integrity. So by that logic, they can keep this up for a while. For those of you mentioning, uh, hey, you're not turning on the torpedo avoidance. Yeah, that's correct. For this battle, I don't have to. Because the Italian ships, nor the Spanish, sorry, nor the French ships have any kind of torpedo weapon. So even if they wanted to dodge a torpedo, there's no torpedo to dodge. Hey, they actually got a ricochet there. What range are we looking at? 15 kilometers. Parcel pen? What are you guys firing at? You're all firing at the trailing ship and you're all using armor piercing. If the Italians would actually open up with high explosive... I think they might have a shot, no pun intended, because the French have those cramped crew quarters, and that's going to start to snowball in their damage control abilities. So, like, knock off their crew by, I don't know, 20-25%, their damage control goes down the toilet, their rate of fire goes down the toilet, and you might be able to get an extensive fire overwhelm. You might be able to get these French ships to either fully surrender no pun to the French, or you might be able to just knock out their ability to put up the fire so fast that the ship goes down to an extensive fire. But the Pride of Rome did take some damage there. Looks like the Spanish, sorry, the uh, Italians are now going to take, yep, destroyed main gun. Oh boy, that's the B turret. That's not even the damaged A turret, that's the B turret that got blown up. 
The Italians are looking at a range, sorry, a rate of fire that's uh, superior to the French. They got this triple barrel, so it does take slightly longer, but it's nothing like the 91 seconds that the French have. Can they actually deal any kind of respectable damage? D no. <laughs> no. Uh, bow and stern, yes. Towers, yes. Maybe the occasional barbette, which would definitely be a pain to the French if they lose a turret. Ooh. That was pretty bad. Yeah, they did manage to get some damage in, but barely enough. Now, love it or hate it, the Italians and the French are closing the distance. This is, I would say, not in the advantage of the French. And especially as the Italians continue to fire AP, it could... Yeah, it starts to slightly damage the French ships. Had they used HE, I think it would have been a completely different fight. In fact, I think I'll just do the battle again after this uh, AI match has been concluded. And see if I can knock out the Italians... Oh, sorry, the French ships with the Italian ships. Good lord, this thing is getting absolutely butchered. Look at that. Several incidents of flooding. The ship's burning up pretty bad. The Italians are just getting over pens. If they're getting, well, any kind of hits at all. Come on, people. At least make it look good. Damage to the main gun. And you set one whole fire. Well, I guess it's a start. I guess it's a start. The Diligenza is now the leader of the formation. Pride of Rome is falling back. Regina Margherita still on the back. Wait, did you just switch targets? Damage to another main gun. Damage to the main tower. Yeah, they switched targets to Charles Martel. Why? Don't switch fire. Focus on the complete elimination of one of the ships. Because by doing this, you're keeping more guns alive. <clears throat> yes, you might get some damage and stability, sure. But I feel, holy shit, that the Italians need a little bit more deadly effect here. They need an actual kill. They need to reduce the DPS of the French, especially now that the French 7-inchers are well and truly within range and causing even more damage to the Italian ships. Pride of Rome is burning up somewhat, but it's not that bad yet. Missed everything. One bit of partial damage to a casemate. And another main gun on the Diligenza is gone. That's three turrets left, only on the stern. Now, it might look like the Diligenza is making full use of that by turning to port. And only showing her stern turrets. But I think in fact she's trying to fall back into the formation. Letting the Regina Margherita take the lead for a bit. And hopefully trying to uh, control that flooding. And stop that fire from raging out of control. The difference in damage here. The, the sheer damage disparity is awful. You're looking at 1100 damage done by the Italians. Versus almost 9000 damage done by the French. It is really serious. And I think the Italians, well, are going to just get very, very quickly eliminated here. Like, they're just not even hitting anything. That's with a 75% accuracy. This is awful. This is just really bad. The way that these ships are getting... Look at that. Destroyed main gun. What's with the armor on these guns? Why do they just fall off so quickly? That's 18 inches, 6.5 and, and 15. So they're really well armored. But the French ships got them... Uh, well, what are we looking at? About 6 kilometer range. So, yeah, they got 62 inches of armor. Pen. There's not a whole lot that the Italians can do about that. Uh, armor or no... They're switching fire to the Tibinator now. They're getting some light effects here. In the form of a couple of destroyed casemates, perhaps. Some fire. 8.5% crew lost. 0% crew lost on the Charles Martel. And 8% crew lost on the Paris. Or the Paris, as I'm sure they would pronounce it. Regina turning in. With a damaged bow turret. 
and only, well, a very hefty focus on stern turrets, I don't think that she's going to be able to deal any kind of damage. t just lost a bit more of her crew. It's nice to see the French make a bit of a comeback, I have to say, because the French ships... Initially, I thought, oh, these guys have a really good chance of winning the tournament. And then they got knocked out pretty quick, courtesy of Spain. But they're clawing themselves back into the tournament. As opposed to the Italians, who we will not be seeing again. Now, I've been getting some questions in the comments in the previous videos. Why are we not seeing the US? Where are the other nations? I wanted to keep this first tournament small, because I don't have that much experience running tournaments. So I want to keep this first one small, and after this one completes, I will launch another one, which will see probably all nations, and oof. Uh, all nations and, of course, different settings, different trade-offs that you're going to have to make, different configurations. There was also a suggestion, or perhaps several people have already suggested it by now, um, create a sort of fleet, i.e. you have... Uh, a budget of let's say 15 points and you can send in a task force where a battleship is five points uh, a destroyer is one point something like that and then build a formation my problem with that is that it would be absolute management hell for me because if people would start sending in multiple ships um, I would have to figure out for every single one how many ships they've sent in what type of design should go into what folder um, for example, if it's going to be a, a 10 nation tournament, you'd have, I don't know, maybe three different ships for the French, you'd have five different ships for the Italians, um, you'd have maybe one ship class for the Spanish, and then I have to keep track of everything. It would be a lot of work. Um, I might be able to do it at some point, but right now, not just yet. And there was oh yeah let me address this there was also the suggestion um why can you not just let the battle commence between let's say all the designs that were sent in for italy so have a mini italy tournament well here's why i cannot in a custom battle pit italy against italy i cannot pit the french against the french so i cannot have a french design fight another french design it simply doesn't work so in order to um get let's say a mini tournament it would have to be between different nations which you know kind of defeats the point yeah they did agenda look at that listing Whew. poor ship oh she also has absolutely no main ammo left <laughs> jesus 4100 damage done by the italians 42,000 damage done by the french <laughs> Oh, man. It was an interesting design. It was an interesting design. The, um... What was it? The Bride of Rome class. But, uh, alas. No joy. Now. I am very, interesting to, or very interested to see what would happen if I were to take manual control. So, let's have a look at that, shall we? This, of course, is not going to be part of the tournament. This is not going to change the outcome of the battle. But I'm very interested to see if... As a player, you actually have a better chance. So I'm going to take manual control of the ships. The Pride of Rome, Stella Maris, and uh, San Pio V. Everybody's going to fling a high explosive. We're going to try and whittle away at the French crews while also closing in. I know that that's potentially a little dangerous. I'm thinking closing to about 15, maybe 12 kilometer range. And letting these guns get a lot more accurate. Because at this range... I might have volume of fire, but the French have accuracy. And as we've seen, my ships just do absolutely nothing at this range. I am hoping that I'll at least be able to knock off some of their crew, maybe cause some damage and stability, and reduce that accuracy and potentially later on the reload by at least a little bit. Can the Pride of Rome class be salvaged in this sense? Now, I know that by pushing in, I'm losing out on all the DPS for my stern turrets. That's by design. I want to just push in for now. I'm going to do a little zigzagging. Yeah, see, the French are already registering hits here. It's concerning. And starboard. French port again. 
Ricochet. So far the armor is serving me pretty well. We're looking at 15-5, 15-6. port. Target the closest ship. These cadets, I'm going to need every little bit of help that I can get. Damage to the main gun. That's a bad start. Come on. What? That's it? Get the stern turrets involved. 13-3. This could start to really ramp up the damage. On my ships, that is. Fire roll. There we go. Stur starboard turn. Some damage. Damage to the main gun. I'm going to slow down. It's going to also give me a bit of an advantage for accuracy. Meanwhile, we're going to ricochet with the French. Or ricochet with the other ships. Right of Rome, uh, detach. The other two are going to turn port. You're going to push in. I'm going to use the Pride of Rome as the focal point for the French fleet. Letting the Pride of Rome just angle and ricochet. While Stella Maris and San Pio V effectively do all the damage. That's the plan. Whether this will work, I don't know. But I believe that the French are going to have a hard time trying to pin an angled battleship like this. Whereas if they target the Stella Maris, that's a completely different story. And they will inflict a lot of damage. We're looking at 22% chance to hit here. Taking out 2.5% of their crew. We're going to have to go a lot faster than that. Yeah, now we're talking. 3.94. Angle a bit. 30% chance to hit with Stella Maris. 9.2 kilometer range. I don't care about the AP chance. I really don't. I want to set fires and I want to kill crew. As bad as that sounds. <clears throat> about 8% crew loss. And the Pride of Rome is just merrily angled and dodging and weaving and ricocheting as much as she possibly can. At about 7 kilometer range. These things are flinging HE at the Pride of Rome, so I will lose crew. Look at that. Ricochet, ricochet, ricochet. Angled ships win battles. 13% crew lost. 14. The Brennus is starting to take a beating here. Reloads up to 103 seconds now. I'm going for a complete kill on Brennus. And it seems like the French crews are not having a great time. 20% lost. And this just kind of goes to show what the problem with the AI is. 22.8, 22.9. The amount of fires that are on this French ship are getting... More or less out of control at this point. Nope, they got him. Missed to put the fires out. So we're going to set a few more. They're now at 28% crew loss. That was a good hit on the Stella. They're switching fire to the Stella Modest now. Pride of Rome turn. Some damage to the main tower. I think this is how the Italians are kind of designed to be played. Destroyed a turret. Did you already knock out two? Yeah, I already lost two turrets. Uh, I've already done more damage. Relative to what the AI's been doing. 32-9. 33-6. Oh, this is going to hurt. Oof. Destroyed another main gun. I'm losing DPS. Right of Rome. What are you shooting at? No, switch to the Brennus. Everybody Brennus, Brennus, Brennus. I don't need you people to start thinking all for yourself, because that's generally not going to work out too well. Not when I leave it to the AI. Ships lost 36% of her crew. I really need to get one third of the French ships to be eliminated. 38, 39... I can angle away for a bit. 39.5. Come on. Surely this ship can be salvaged, right? <clears throat> you got this much firepower. 
You're just being hampered by your crew, so you need player design or player control to keep up with it. Brenz is trying to fall back. We won't let her. 42-3. She's got more than half of her hit points intact, but it's the crew that's going to cost her the match here. Come on. 43-44. Yeah, I think we might be able to salvage this. 44-2. This is going to really hurt. Yep. I deserve that. A concern that I do have, there she goes, is that I don't have enough shells for this little party. I got 64 shells on the Stella... No. Yeah, I got 64 shells on the Stella Maris. San Pio doesn't have any shells left because she lost so many turrets. So, in this case, I don't really know how I'm going to be able to make this work. The French seem to have that combination of speed, armor, and firepower. <clears throat> and crew training, I should add. 2.9% crew loss, that's not enough. You're going to have to draw fire. You're going to have to try and deal damage. Chance to pen is just not good enough. I mean AP salvo. But I rather doubt it will do much. Damage the to main tower. At least she's not flooding. No, she is. Oh, shit. Part of Rome still has hundreds and hundreds of shells left. There goes the San Pio. So the Stella is probably the next target. Meaning we're going to have to turn in. Letting her take the ricochet hits right now. The Pride of Rome do her business of eliminating the crew. You got some damage and stability, don't you? Yeah, 30%. Destroyed main tower. Well, there goes whatever accuracy I had left. <laughs> this is pretty bad. <laughs> We're looking at what? 20, 20%. 20 which is <laughs> still better than the Pride of Rome. Oh, man. And the French? 86, 89. <laughs> they don't care. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, I won't win this. No, I won't win this. I just don't have enough shells left. Locked. I've lost 20% of the crew, so that's still, well, within parameters. I'm not worried about crew loss. I'm worried about flooding. And I'm worried about not being able to do any kind of damage because I've lost all my turrets. I do have the Pride of Rome, but... Oh, Jesus, that accuracy. And the, the difference in accuracy is so vast. Plus, with all those stern-oriented turrets, I have to expose more of the ship if I want to deal any kind of effective damage here. 92% chance to hit. They're still focusing the Stella. Destroyed main tower, could you not? I need that thing. Ah, huh, not too bad. At least we're getting a slightly different outcome relative to what we've seen previous. Oh, dude. Turn. Something that kind of bothers me with the game. I fired the bow turrets, A and B. The stern turrets were loaded and ready, did not fire. Now that I'm at an angle where I can actually acquire the target, which is the t the turrets refuse to fire. It's like they have to go through the same cycle as the main weapons, like the, the, the A and the B turrets, in order to fire. Which makes no sense, because they were not discharged. Couple of hits, three fires. There goes the Stella, so yeah, now I'm going to get focused down very, very quickly. And they're going to deal a ton of damage. And at this rate... Yeah. I have to I have to bow in to tank those shells. I cannot wait until they're out of shells. And if I turn broadside and let all the guns rip, 
well, I'm going to take a lot more damage in return than I can actually give out myself. So that's not exactly a feasible option either. There she goes. Full salvo on the t -binator. Two fires and some damage. But look at the damage that the Pride of Rome is going to take. Also, if they manage to destroy or damage another one of my main turrets, I'm going to lose out on the rest of the HE shells, and I'll not be able to deal any kind of damage anymore. Yeah. I'm flooding pretty much from stem to stern. And I don't really... <laughs> oh, come on. You got what, 12... You got 12 barrels left. You only hit one shell. Okay. Well, the result was slightly better. In the sense that I did at least manage to sink one of the French ships. But no. No, 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 no. This is not how it's supposed to go. So, uh, the Italians are well and truly out of the tournament. So what is next? Well... We're going to have to find out who wins, Spain or the UK. The loser is not out of the tournament, but fights France in losers round three. The winner moves on to the finals. So we're going to have our first finalist. Is it going to be Spain? Is it going to be the UK? Let me know down below in the comments. What do you think the outcome of the semifinals will be? And join me next time for the next round. I look forward to seeing the outcome of Spain versus UK. Thanks you guys for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you soon for the next round.